Welcome to our lecture online. Here's a second example again to so solidify or cement our understanding of the relationship between parametric equations and vectors in three dimensions. Here we're asked to find the parametric equations for the line passing through two points, point one at two, five, and negative two, and point two at four, zero, and eight. And again, the parametric equations have the general format right here, where there's some initial position defined and some change for the variable x, y, and z. These are the constants that define the change. So we can pick one of the two points. It really doesn't matter which of the two points. Let's just call this point point one. And actually, we have to be careful. We should define them as point one and point two. So let's define this one as point one and define this one as point two because the change is going to be defined as point two minus point one. We're going to define the change in x, y, and z by subtracting the values for x, y, and z of the two points. And that's going to then become the slope because remember, the change is the same as the slope per unit run, right? So how much does it change x, y, and z as t changes by one, by one unit? So that means that the parametric variable x is going to be defined as the initial position, let's call it 2 for point 1, plus the change, the slope, which is the value at point 2 minus the value at point 1, so it's going to be 4 minus 2 times the parametric variable t. So there's going to be that much of a change in x for each unitary change in t. That's what that means. So this can then be written as 2 plus 2t. For the variable y, we can take the initial position as 5 plus the change in y going from point 1 to point 2. So we take the value at point 2 and subtract the value at point 1. 0 minus 5 times t. So this is going to be 5 minus 5t for the parametric equation. Again, the change in y is going to be negative 5 for each unitary change in t. And then z is going to be equal to the initial position of z, which is minus 2, plus the change in z, which is the final position minus the initial position, 8 minus a minus 2. So this is going to be written as minus 2 plus 10 times t. Again, that's the change in z for each unitary change in t and a starting point at z equals negative 2. And there's the three parametric equations going through those two points. And that's how it's done.